What's up guys, back in today with another reaction to Vinland Saga Season 2, this time with Episode 7. Uh, really excited to see what we got today, last time that was an absolute brilliant episode. I loved it probably a bit more than most, um, seeing Snake and uh, the old man, Kettle's father, um, just have a, a kind of son-dad uh, kind of talk, even though again they're not related at all. Um, very much in contrast to the actual kind of father-son talk we had at the start of the episode, where um, I, can, I can tell uh, Kettle's just looking after his, uh, his father, but... Um, he doesn't want to just kind of go out peacefully, does he? Um, again, really love the relationship between those two and Einar and um, and Thorfinn. Um, all four of them, again, uh, some of my uh, most interesting characters this season. So hopefully we'll kind of keep in touch with them as the uh, the story does go on. I know we only really met the guy last episode, but um, really, I uh, really kind of came to like Kettle's father. Um, hopefully kind of nothing bad happens in that aspect, although I can kind of imagine that being the case. He is, uh, again, on his way out, so... Um, no idea what to expect from today's episode again it was quite an uplifting one last episode with uh, that kind of group meeting as well as Orphan and Einar's plant work actually kind of coming off with help from the old man um, they're actually now able to plant the, uh, the oat seeds I think they are the corn seeds I can't exactly uh, I'm not even sure if they have seeds again I'm, a, I'm an absolute noob to farming just like Thorfinn is I um, love that aspect of the story kind of going from Thorfinn destroying stuff to actually kind of breeding life now through this uh, through this farming and um, Einar teaching him the ropes uh, again just absolutely beautifully written um, and can't wait to get into it today uh, do let me know what you guys think of this episode though down in the comment section leave a like on the video if you guys like this one and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these reactions and let's get right into it guys yeah, thank you guys for all the comments last week. Um, again, explaining a little bit better the kind of situation. Again, really, uh, really thought that comment about um, I, Thorfinn learning from Einar, the kind of birth of life rather than taking of it away. That's actually uh, very well done, wasn't it? I didn't quite see that when I was watching the episode. But it makes sense that Thorfinn would know absolutely nothing about it. Really hot, by the way. If I, uh, if I look a bit shiny or anything, <clears throat> but as I was saying in the intro, I'm expecting at least some things to go wrong with the crops, with the stealing, the stealing of the crops, <laughs> uh, the old man. There's lots of lots of things that could go wrong here. I remember a little bit of the preview. Now we saw the two thieves, didn't we? To uh, kids, I think. We um, I think we saw Kettle a little bit in the uh, in the preview as well. Again, I can't exactly remember the preview all that well, but really enjoyed last episode as much as it was actually quite a quiet episode, all things considered. They actually done a hell of a lot for these characters in the story, in its own way. But it doesn't look like too much was taken. Uh, again, I'm kind of thinking with these kids, they've only actually taken what they need. They said a bag of flour and some bits of meat. I imagine they're probably like starving kids or something that just need some food. They don't actually want to kind of take this farm for all their worth or anything. And of course, there's where's Canute going to fit into this story and Borkel and such. Again, I'm just... Uh, Kind of anticipating some things going wrong as much as things are going very right right now the fourth in especially i also think i remember we uh we might be seeing a different side of kettle in today's episode <laughs> And also, um, I did notice, I did say last episode, that we saw like three different versions of Thorfinn in looks-wise. Makes sense that he'd kind of clean himself up now. He's got this, again, kind of value for life a little bit more now. Rather than just having no value in his life beforehand. You bring value to it by providing value. Which is what we're very much seeing uh, more and more. Again, lots of beautifully written... Uh, storylines and plot points this season, characters especially. And you know what, it makes sense how I would kind of 
I wouldn't say not see himself as a slave. I think he does see himself as a slave, but he's he's always been working the farm. This is just like the n normal kind of stuff to him, isn't it? Not that much of a big change for him. As much as he lost his family. And that's a massive miss. Being in a foreign land. That's so mad. Orphan, how Orphan looks nowadays. Sorry if I've got any food around my mouth as well, I literally just ate my tea. These are getting quite frequent, these little conversations with uh, Arn Held, I think they said her name was. They're getting quite frequent. Oh shit. The thing. This woman looks like a, a man. Looks more of a man than some of the men we've seen in this series, which is saying quite a bit considering we're following the Vikings. <laughs> and the uh, the Danish. Oh, just you wait till you see it happen. <clears throat> Again, like I'm very much seeing some kind of like perhaps even sabotage happening to this farm, sabotage, stealing, maybe even natural causes like a tornado or something, <laughs> something like this. That probably is. I can I can see bad things happen. We should ask her. Next time. I think so. It's nothing personal. Although it's actually kind of the most personal thing to these people. Now I think about it. Their freedom. Their love. He is English. <laughs> and I think uh, back in these days, a, a lot of England, most of England was uh, Christian, I think. As well as other kind of similar religions. And I'm not, not fully kind of clued up on all that, but... Are we gonna please? <laughs> please make our crops go. Yeah, I bet that deer's wondering what the fuck are these guys doing. And again, quite funny considering the deer's looking at us from, from so close. So I imagine this deer would be dead almost instantly if it got this close to us when Thorfinn was a few years younger with uh Bashar men. 
That would have just been T, probably. The change. Quite peaceful indeed, isn't it? Oh yeah, we saw this guy in the preview as well. This is his son. Another one of his sons. Quite, looks quite a lot different <laughs> than uh, the Nolmar. Actually looks like a warrior. The war girl. True, true. Sometimes people can force that change. What is this thing? Why do they keep calling it a thing? I'd like to know what it is, please. Ebby. These are the, uh, the thieves. Honestly, if I was the owner of this farm, again, I've, I've got no idea about the financials and such. Just let them have the little bit of food they took and they'll never come here again. Again, they only took what they need. And everyone's here watching, his son's here. I guess we can't really be too leaning on them right now. As much as, like I said, these guys, these, you know, they only stole what they needed. bad for more than anything of course imagine there are thieves out there that do just steal to make a profit from these places Wow, and they're just going to have to watch this. Look at all this meat. Sounds stupid. <laughs> Was that ears? Lovely. Jerky. Lovely. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure about Omar going to war. As much as I support the dude, I really do like Omar. He just started screaming at ears. Iron Fist Kettle. No, oh, he does look like a warrior kettle, doesn't he? He does look like a warrior. And obviously he survived till now, so... 
Must be quite skilled. Obviously settled down, became smart, a little bit like fours almost. A little bit like fours. He's not, he's not too hung up on that, is he? Kettle. But there is this kind of other side to this kettle, isn't there? There's this brute warrior from the past. Again, kind of seems like maybe he learned what a true warrior is, perhaps. Perhaps. See, he's a nice guy, isn't he? <clears throat> Dead, isn't he? Snorri. <laughs> yeah, probably dead. Or maybe he just left. Oh. So they already owe us before they stole from us. No, definitely not. You're in denial, son. You're in denial. I was going to say, he's probably going to offer them a place of slaves here, perhaps. Oh my god, he's going to cry. <laughs> wow. Honey, is that his wife? Oh, he really didn't pick the nicest of the bunch, did he? I guess. <laughs> We're not going to take this kid's arm. Both? No. We're not going to do that. Yeah, everyone here is in agreement, but Thorgill, of course. Right. 
pretty much. I mean, even if he survived, he's not going to survive <laughs> much longer. With no arms in this world. <laughs> uh, thank God this guy spoke up. They're going to be slaves, aren't they? I feel like that's a good punishment. Let them work here for a bit. Use the arms instead of losing the arms. You can do some work. Yeah. And the mum. Oh. Have to almost run out. Oh, even better, actually. Even better. It's really nice of this guy, isn't it? We've had, we have met this guy before, haven't we? Um, when, he, when he spoke to Einar and Thorfinn a couple of episodes ago. Wait, as well? Or as well as being... As well as working? That is the punishment! Oh, for fuck's sake. So it wasn't actually Kettle holding this in the preview, which I thought was the case. It's Snake. Two. One. One. None. Hopefully. <laughs> but. Two. Oh. Bloody hell. I'm just hoping Snake holds back a little bit here. Yeah, he's going to take them all, isn't he? Bloody hell. Kettle really is a little... I wouldn't say a pushover, but he really is a kind man, isn't he? Again, it kind of seems like maybe he found out thing that Thor's kind of found. How is he going to work after this now then? How is he going to pay that off? Oh, we've got this bastard doing it. Oh, you rats. Good. Stab one was like ten in itself. Jesus. I love I hate loved but I hated that scene earlier of Kettle looking at his son. He said, What the hell that you are horrifying. That's the reasonable response to your son. The way he came back, the way he is right now. A horrible Viking, isn't he? Just the usual horrible Viking. No wonder he doesn't want it. Fucking Olmar off to war. I don't think that was a lie. Again, I think like, I think he surpassed that. As much as he couldn't even speak up earlier, even though he's the one in charge of all this. Funny, isn't it? So a last episode looking looking out for his dad, looking for the best for him. Understandable man. 
Damn. What they said not to hit him in the face. That arm held or whatever her name is. So she's real close to him. Real close. Ah. Finding salvation in the legs of your own slave. Interesting, isn't it? In, in, in the legs of the woman you own. Ah. Kettle really is quite a fascinating character, isn't he? I feel like maybe I'm wrong in saying that he is like fours. It's similar, but I don't think it's the same as him. They were both these great warriors. I wanted peace. I didn't want violence. Killing. Vengeance. But very fascinating episode. Again, real good look into what he has to deal with. Having to brutalise kids. Having his, one of his own kids be a, a bit of a shame to him almost. Much as he's following the footsteps of his own father. Kind of a bit of a monster, hasn't he? Like what we saw fourth and kind of become in the first season. I played the game of life and had a ball. Yeah, really awesome episode. The characterization in this season has been insane, by the way. Just the, the depth of these characters, the intrigue and interest in them I've got for these characters is surpasses almost all the action in season one, to be honest with you. Not the story. Again, the end of season one was awesome, but it surpasses, it surpasses the action. It surpasses these flashy fight scenes, having characters as deep and as interesting as this. Carapano Otoko. I think that actually says a, a man full of crap. <laughs> As I could be wrong there. Um, I could be wrong in saying that, but the way they said that in Japanese, it makes me, from my tr translation, uh, again, I don't fully know Japanese or anything. It, it sounds, again, more like a man full of crap. Um, an empty man. Interesting, interesting. I might just be talking about. Um, Kettle, um, who was a big player in today's episode. Um, thank you guys for watching, by the way. Um, yeah, like I said, Kettle, big, uh, big player in today's episode. A lot of focus on him and what he has to deal with. Again, punishing the kids that steal from his farm, which he doesn't really want to. He doesn't want to be involved in the violence that um, he was so renowned for, uh, from what we heard uh, before he settled down on his farm. Um, again, very, uh, very intriguing seeing that, seeing his relationship with his son, seeing his relationship with his father as well. Seems like he's a very kind man. He just wants the best for everyone. He wants the best for his slaves, even giving them a kind of buyout option of not being a slave anymore, giving them a potential of freedom, um, finding salvation in one of his slaves as well. You know very much that he is a kind of person, a person, a, a, a people person <laughs> is the is the word for it, I think. Um, he really do does care about everyone and. Cares about, about what's best for everyone as well. Yeah, he called himself a coward, but again, I think he has kind of surpassed that. He surpassed that being a, a ravaging warrior. He's he's now a kind of settled relic almost. Um, probably a, a bit mean way to say it, <laughs> but um, a lot of interesting stuff uh, concerning him today. Um, again, especially love that kind of uh, Omar um Thorgill kind of thing we got going on with Thorgill being again this almost horrifying image towards uh, Kettle and then Omar being this very innocent um, kind of unstained kind of son to uh, keep forgetting his name as I'm talking um, to Kettle because it's uh, such a weird name um, but yeah look, I'm very interested to see where that that's going to go and uh, I'm going to hate to see if Omar does go off to war because um, I'm, or he's really not suited to it is he it's, uh, it's quite funny it's like he has the two sons and they are kind of each half of Kettle almost aren't they so very interesting but um, yeah I do kind of wonder if Kettle was actually cheating on his wife with uh, with the slave if they're kind of sleeping together or anything I mean at the least we know is that he's kind of, kind of confiding in her and um, that's the only person he can actually talk to about any of this so that says quite a bit in of in itself 
from uh, from my perspective anyway um these slaves are well should we know that she's a nice woman so uh makes sense that he kind of would lean towards her but um, I, w I do wonder how that kind of came to be again the position is kind of slave and master so um ordinarily this would never happen uh probably would happen but in a different way and such um but um, yeah, lots of uh, lots of intriguing uh, stuff today. Like I said, the characterization and the character developments and uh, storylines have been absolutely insane this season. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this episode down in the comment section. Let me know what you guys thought of uh, Kettle especially. Um, do leave a like on the video if you guys like this one and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions. Can't wait to see what's going to be coming next week. Hope you join me then and enjoy the rest of your day, guys.